VBA community. What's going on? Mr. VBA checking in the building. You might hear me breathing a little bit heavy in this. I'm not going to lie to you because I'm doing cardio right now. So my heart, my heart race up a little bit. I'm breathing a little heavy. I got asthma too. So my breathing kind of picks up and stuff when I start running and whatnot. So you have to forgive me if I start taking some deep breaths and whatnot. But anyway, we didn't do a normal intro like normal YouTubes do because, again, we don't do anything that normal that normal people do everything that we do is out of the ordinary from our clothing brand i mean which is this right here our clothing brand and like not dropping you know on seasons or being in fashion runways and being in all the politics and stuff i don't care about any of that this youtube i don't care about dropping no intro video if you live in the state of arizona trust me you you know who i am you trust me. You know who my team is. You know us. We grew up around here. Y'all know what's going on. We've been terrorizing y'all since elementary school. Since we came out the womb, we've been doing this. We've been running around the state of Arizona. Now even more so because a uh, percentage of my team has grown. So we're running around. And even the young ones, the youth, like the prodigy. Shout out my little brother. He running around too. So we city to city, town to town. We're going to start being state to state at the end of this year after we solidify that we kings around this month. A moment of silence for that. Ain't nobody going to contest that because y'all ain't putting in the work that we putting in, you know, and y'all ain't having the consistency we have. But anyway, I didn't come here to nobody. I didn't come here to prove no point or nothing. My point was that we just didn't do a normal intro video. You know, we always say we're going to teach things. Well, what do y'all teach? Where do y'all give people these tools at? Where do y'all give people this content at? Um, you know, we give little snippets on Instagram. We'll give little stuff on TikTok or whatever the case may be, but we don't just necessarily go into detail of, okay, how do we do the things that we do? Yeah, turn me up in the headphones. <laughs> anyway, you back me, I got that good alkaline, not that other kind. <laughs> y'all drinking that Nestle, that Pure Life water, whatever y'all motherfuckers be drinking that Walmart brand water, Arrowhead. <laughs> you just say that shit. That spring water. I'm teaching y'all how to elevate. Don't. Don't get caught up, man. We just, <clears throat> if you know us in person, man, we good guys, bro. Seriously. We just, we joke, man. We, we have fun. Um, you know, some people may get, you know, I don't know. Some people may get offended or whatever, but we not, we're not trying to offend nobody or nothing, man. We just, we just having fun. We good guys, man. We get people to shirt off our backs, man, literally. So we're, when we tell you all this stuff, don't take it, you know, don't take it offensive. Take it as us trying to give you game. Drink some alkaline water. I'm trying to help you and change your life. So don't get mad at me, you know? And subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. I need to start saying it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, though, like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. And, you know, I'm not trying to down you, demean you, make you feel less of yourself. I'm trying to pick you up, give you game, you know? So, because I'm like the, really the next Malcolm X of this generation, Martin Luther King, whoever you, whatever you want to call it. I'm just not going to be getting assassinated, though. That's not funny either. R.P. Malcolm X, R.P. Martin Luther King. It's not funny. Anyway, <clears throat> back to my original point. So now we're talking about, um, you know, how we're going to give these tools to y'all. So how we're going to start teaching y'all is on YouTube. We'll start, you know, <clears throat> take another deep breath. Y'all told y'all do cardio. Anyway, we're going to start incorporating more on the YouTube. We will get more stuff incorporated on um, TikTok, uh, YouTube shorts, Instagram, stuff like that. But primarily, we will do a lot of teaching on YouTube. So one way we want to talk about um, teaching y'all today, or the first thing we want to talk about is our mission statement and our motto. So mission statement, our motto is elevate physically, mentally, and financially. Now, you might hear me say that. A lot of people have you know, heard me say that before, and they'll hear me kind of break down a shortened version of it and just say, you know, essentially just be 1% better every single day. But I really want to break down, OK, what does elevate physically, mentally and financially? What does that mean? So we'll start off with the first one, elevating physically. Let's start off with elevate in general, elevate in general. You hear me say this a lot, not staying at the same level. Let me you go. Y'all going to learn this about me. I could break off into a lot of different tangents. If you know me for real, you know, I could really break off into a lot of different tangents. Just get to talking about shit. I'm going to go on ahead and say this. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, keep sharing this because when I'm a billionaire and y'all trying to hop on the bandwagon and, you know, get back acclimated with the team, eh, 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 stay over there. You know what I'm saying? Come over here now because there's no clothing brand. There's no business. There's no young people teaching what I'm teaching. 
I promise you that. I'm I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm not the smartest dude in the room. I didn't go to college. I didn't do any of that. None of that. I'm 21 years old right now. I have a business, this clothing business. Me and my business partners. Um, we have a couple other things in the works as well too. And I'm I still am employed by somebody. A lot of people won't even tell you that. I'm a manager of somewhere. I'm not just gonna sit up and tell you where I'm just sitting up working at. But I'm a manager in a sales position, which is what you need if you want to be an entrepreneur. People don't tell you that. All you kids around here in the area and all this type of stuff, all you peers and stuff, you don't know. You really don't know about business. So come over here and learn about it. Because one thing you need to know how to do is sell. I I build somebody else's business. I'm the manager of it. I have a sales team under me. And then I come home and I build my own business. That's real life. I'm giving you real life. Y'all want all this get rich quick, all this, all this, all this drop shipping and all this stuff. Well, our channel doesn't do any of that. We don't do that. We talk about real facts. And we're young men doing what we're doing. So, and we're just, we're just getting ahead. We're taking what our mentors and what the people above us have given us so that we can be in a better position than they were faster. That's all we're doing. So if you want the honest truth, if you want real content, not all this fake stuff, not all this social media stuff that you see right now, it, it kills me. It, re it really kills me. All these people right now, it's like, it's like, it's like the, all these people, it's like we're the aliens, honestly, at this point. But y'all, y'all weird. Y'all, y'all, a lot of you weirdo Y'all are really the aliens. Don't know how to communicate. Don't know how, don't, don't want to work. Don't want to do this. Don't want to do that. Talk about business and getting rich, but you don't really want to do it. Caring about social media and stuff. This is a real platform. So anyway, like I said, I get into a lot of tangents, but let's get back into the word elevation in general. Elevating in general just means not staying at the same level. Elevating, getting to a different level, leveling up, elevating, rising up, raising up, climbing the mountain. That's what we do. That's what we do every single day. At least 1%. A lot of the times for us, because we're overachievers, we really work hard. Um, we're getting more than 1%. We're, we're raising percentages and percentages and percentages, 30, 40, 50%. We're getting that much better each day. So they will teach you how to do that as well, be an overachiever. But anyway, elevate. That's, that's, that's elevating. Elevating physically. That's our first one. So elevating physically. What does elevating physically mean? Elevating physically. Like we said, climbing that mountain, getting to a different level physically. So how do you do that? And that's different for everybody. You might have a different goal than I have. I might have a different goal than Cody. Cody may have a different goal than Kaylin. Kaylin may have a different goal than, you know, Jeff or Joe or, or John or Billy, whoever. You know what I mean? We're just here to tell you some of the ways that we do and motivate you to reach whatever goal that you have physically, whatever that is for me. Honestly, right now, I'm... I'm a little, I'm not going to say heavy. I just got some muscle on me. I'm probably sitting at like 205, 206, something like that. So for me, my goal right now is to stretch, be loose and limber, have good cardio. That's why you hear me breathing heavy right now. I've also got asthma. So that's a goal for me physically. What it is to be more limber, get my heart, get my heart right. You know what I mean? Cardio. That's, that's how I'm elevating physically. That's a goal for me. That's, that's how I'm continuing to elevate is now I'm out here running. So, you know, the goals are different and the way that you get there elevating physically is going to be different for everybody. But we just give some ways to do it like I just did. So cardio, going for a run, you know, walking, stretching, legitimately stretching, not just doing like little stretches. I'm talking about legitimate stretches. We'll even have some videos where maybe we show how to stretch. I'm not going to get into a tangent about that, but stretching, that's the way. Um, what Watching what you eat, eating certain things, you know what I mean? Drinking certain things, taking a multivitamin, drinking water, you know? Put an argan oil on your skin. I'm, I'm giving out too much game. We're going to start trading. We will be getting paid billions of dollars for this event. So I'm giving out too much game right now. Like, <laughs> my behind the camera tell me, hey, Zach, you might want to pipe some of this. Give him a lot of game out. My don't want y'all to know this, but I'm telling y'all. So put argan oil in our skin. Wash my beard with apple cider vinegar. Put argan oil and good oils in my head. Use coconut oil. You just, just little stuff, little, little, little stuff like that. You know, I already said multivitamins, um, you know, eating fruits and vegetables. I know it's easier said than done. Growing your own vegetables. We'll even have segments where maybe we're even starting to do that. Growing your own vegetables, your Swiss chard, your Cody's really the man with that. Cause I really just be in Swiss chard for, I don't really, spinach too. That, that's my game, but that's really about it. So that's elevate physically. Just getting yourself to a different level physically. All of these things elevate. That's why we put elevate in the beginning. It's just getting yourself to a different level. So elevate physically is that. Now, what is elevated mentally? Elevated mentally, same thing here. Get into a different level, but now mentally. So there's a lot of different ways you can you know, stimulate your brain or get your brain to a different level. Reading books um, is definitely a good way to. And some things um, that are elevated mentally could also be looked at as elevated financially as well. 
because it's all about what you fill your brain with, you know what I mean? So financial freedom, that's, you know, some terms and things that you may read, you know, reading books or whatnot. And we consider that elevated mentally just because, you know, you're reading books or whatever, but that can also be considered elevated financially. So you can see a couple of these things and maybe think they're a cross between each other or think they could be both things. And they, they very well could be. So but elevate mentally for the most part is just stimulating your mind, reading the book, maybe even having a mentor, having certain conversations, putting yourself in certain situations. That's why we talk about sales. I'm a sales, I'm a, a sales manager. Cody's been in sales. We do sales. You have to sell to have a business. That's just what you have to do. You have to be able to sell. You have to be able to raise capital. And if you've never sold something to somebody, a sale is taking money, getting money from somebody else and putting it in your pocket. That is a sale. All this other stuff that people are telling you, all this, all this bull you know, we, we cut the fat. I'm not doing all this, all, all this bull I'm not telling you to, to, to uh, whatever, be a, be a, be a stock, a forex trader and all this other kind of shit. I, I'm not all that nerd. That's not really how you gain wealth, bro. And I'm black telling you this, seriously. Like this is, I'm, I'm, I'm really on a different level. I'm black telling you this stuff. Black people are really not, they're not even, a lot of, a lot of people are not giving these tools. I'm going to just say people, I'm not even going to pull the race card, but definitely black people. A lot of black people definitely are not saying this. Um, a lot of colored people in general. And that's also part of my mission as well, too. It's for all of my, all my essays, all my about the homies, all my, all my black, all my people, all my people, people of the same color as me. That's also why I do this, too, to give y'all game and to elevate y'all self. Because I want y'all to elevate, you know? I'm not just doing this for me. I like to see a brother win. I like to see people win in general, but I like to see the, the next man win, the next sister win, the next brother win. I like to see that. If I see a brother riding down, riding down the street in the corner, I salute. I like seeing that. So take seriously, take the game I'm giving you. But anyway, elevate it mentally. So like I said, having a mentor, reading a book, um, putting yourself in a in a high pressure situation like like making a sale. Um, and dealing with that rejection, dealing with that fear. That's called Little Voice Mastery. It's the dude I listen to by the name of Blair Singer um, with the Rich Dad program, you know, speaks about Little Voice Mastery, putting yourself in them high pressure situations. Um, you know, getting with a team and getting with the team and networking and, and, and talking, having your team and talking, bouncing ideas off each other, elevating your mind. You know, working out could even be considered elevating the mind. For me, that is elevation of the mind because I'm taking my, you know, my brain away. A cold plunge, jumping in cold water could be considered elevating mentally because you're building mental toughness. You know what I mean? Any way that you're you're growing as a, your, your brain is growing as a human, you're learning new information, you mentally are maturing or becoming a different version of yourself, that is elevated mentally. Okay, so last one. Now, elevating financially. This is my favorite one. I like me some chicken. I like me some chili. I like me some cheese. Dog. I love me some cheese. You know, so and that's what we call money. We got a lot of lingo, bingo. A lot of people. <laughs> that's why people love us, man. We out of the ordinary. We do stuff out of the ordinary. We got a lot of different lingo. We don't talk like people from around here because my family is not from around here. My roots is not from around here. So I'm not gonna be acting like you know, like y'all and doing ordinary stuff like y'all because I don't need to. I got real Bay Area connection, real down south, not just Louisiana connection, but. Definitely New Orleans connection for sure. So just and just to name a few. So I'm not gonna act like you. And I've got even even down here I'm tapped in the tiny. People know what's going on with me. So anyway, we're not gonna talk like y'all. We're gonna have lingo. So that, that's that's what we call money. But this is elevating financially, my favorite part. Because I'm all about be big business. And I'm not gonna get too too much into it today because this is my favorite subject, so we could go on about it for hours. But elevating financially, stacking up that asset column. And limiting them liabilities and i just gave you a whole lot of game right there people don't want me to tell y'all this this took me a lot of time and a lot of study and i'm giving it to you i'm giving it to you so if you in high school if you around my age you appear hey bro you listen to me i'm not saying i'm not guaranteeing you're gonna be a millionaire because i'm not even a millionaire myself yet but hey if you keep coming on this journey with me you're heightening your chances. You know what I mean? You're heightening your chances because I'm around. I'm not just one of them cliche dudes that says, oh, I'm around millionaire. No. At my job, workplace, whatever the case may be, I talk to different millionaires in my situation, in, in my life situation. People know me. I talk to people. I like networking and talking to people. So I've talked to millionaires and people have complimented me. And, and usually when people who are up there compliment you on some of the skills and, and some of the things that you do, uh, for me, it's, you know, being a people person and having a good rapport with people, um, you know, being able to start and strike up conversation. Um, that's that's one of the things for me. Uh, just having good leadership skills. That's that's things for me that, um, you know, people, mentors, people that are wealthy, 
you know, financially free have told me. So normally, you know, when you get them type of, when you get that type of kudos from people, you know, you're headed in the right direction. Now don't let that get to your head, but that's just how you know, that's God telling you, you're headed in the right direction. So that's how I know I'm headed in the right direction. So keep following me because, you know, I'm pretty, I'm positive we headed in the right direction. I'm not even gonna say pretty sure. I'm 100% I'm positive, we had 110% positive. We headed in the right direction. And my last one, my all time favorite one, elevating financially so there's a multitude of different ways you can do this but essentially just stacking up your asset column money coming in limiting those liabilities what's going out what your expenses are and just getting to a different level financially getting yourself to a different level whatever that looks like like i said you may have different goals than i do you know i want multiple homes foreign whips um good life trips with my family spending a lot of money with my brothers eating good food you know being with beautiful people, having a beautiful time. That's what I like to do personally, but you may not want to do that. And that might not be how you, how you want it as some of the ways that, you know, or that might not be your goal financially, but getting to where you want to get to financially. And we'll teach you different ways to do that, whether it's doing actual real estate and you motherfuckers who, you know, you put your realtor in your bio or all this other kind of stuff. You're, you're sent, you're, you're, you're working for tips. That's not legitimate real estate. This land that I'm standing on, that's real owning apartment buildings. That's examples of real estate. Um, you know, actually investing, not just, you know, saying you're a Forex trader or whatever, actually investing, knowing the companies that you're investing into, et cetera, you know, get stacking up other assets, things that don't, that don't lose their value, gold, silver, things like that, paintings, different things that don't lose their value. And our, the most important thing, thing that we love, big business and corporations. That's what we talk about as well. Uh, tax savings, you know, writing up a, a wealth strategy you know, for your kids and your family, different stuff like that. How are you elevating financially? You know, so those are all things that kind of encompass elevating financially and we'll get more into them, you know, as we continue this. So just like I said, continue to like, comment, subscribe, stay with us, stay on the, the journey, the mission with us. You will continue to get it. I gave you some little jewels right now. I'm not going to just drop every, every, everything, you know, you're going to have to get that in more videos. But like I said, just stay locked in on the journey and you will continue to, you know, Come on this journey with us and get yourself, you know, a million dollars, a billion dollars, whatever your goal is, however you want to elevate, however you want to be a better version of yourself, whatever you want to achieve, whatever level you want to be on, come with us and you'll be able to receive that. Catch y'all later.